class, when we were talking about compression ratios, we had a small explanation about a piston inside of a cylinder inside of an engine. Here's kind of what it looked like. So here I've got a cylinder, and the piston is down at the very bottom. This is the volume of air inside the cylinder between the piston and the top of the cylinder. Top dead center, the piston has been driven upwards and compressed that air into a much smaller volume. This is the volume that we have at top dead center. Our compression ratio compares the volume of bottom dead center to the volume of top dead center. So we put the BDC value at the top and the TDC, top dead center, on the bottom. So a class the example of if the bottom dead center volume is 140 inches cubed, the top dead center volume is 20 inches cubed, then you can calculate the compression ratio. Well, the compression ratio is set here as the volume of the BDC over the volume of the TDC. So that's 140 cubic inches over 20 cubic inches. Divide top and bottom by 20 cubic inches, you get a ratio of 7 to 1. So that's our ratio. Another variation that we did was if we know the ratio, how do we find one or the other of the volumes? Well, in class we did the ratio of 9 to 1, and a top dead center volume of 14 cubic inches, and we had to calculate the bottom dead center volume. So, remind ourselves, we write down what each part of the ratio means, the top is bottom dead center, the bottom part of the ratio is top dead center volume. Then when I write 9 to 1, I know I'm talking about bottom dead center, top dead center, because I've written that down as a clue. So 9 to 1 is my ratio. On this side, I know the top dead center volume is 14 cubic inches. I don't know the bottom dead center volume, so I'll put x there. Then to solve, as we do with ratios, multiply this way, multiply that way, cross multiply. So x equals 9 times 14 cubic inches. So x, 9 times 14 is 126. It's 126 cubic inches at bottom dead center. So remember, write out your clue so you know which value means which. Write out the ratio, write out the things you know, cross multiply, then it's a short exercise in algebra.